Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can construct this to-do list in Word. I'm going to show you how you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG file and then how to re-import it into Word so you can place two or four of these onto an A4 page. So let's just open a new document and the first thing I need to do is to insert my graphics. Now I've grabbed my graphics, this website here, I'll leave a link in the description below. All of these images are completely free. So I've just inserted butterflies to the search term and then you can scroll down and pick any image you like. Now it's only the silhouette that will be downloaded but at the top here you can see all the colours available. So I'm going to pick this brown one here and I'm going to select this image here. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to download it as a PNG file. And it's nothing more complicated, you don't even have to put your email in. So then go to insert picture, click on the drop down and select picture from file. Then just simply go down to your downloads, select the latest download and click insert. Now with any image in Word, when it's inserted you can't move it. So all you have to do is select it, right click on it, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. Now you can resize it and move it around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this because I want some of these butterflies on the outside of the jar. Select it, you can go to the home tab and press copy, deselect it and paste. You can also use command or control C to copy and command or control V to paste. But you can also select it, hold down your alt or option key, click and drag and that will also copy it as well. So let's just get rid of this one. And this one here I'm just going to crop it so I can select one of these butterflies. So select it, go to picture format, go to crop and then all we need to do with these black markers is drag them down just to isolate one of these butterflies. There we go and just press enter and you can see now we've just got one butterfly. I'm just going to copy and paste that a few times. I'm going to have three butterflies at the top and then I'm going to have four butterflies at the bottom. So once we've done that, I'm just going to resize this jar, make it smaller. And then I'm just going to move these butterflies over. If I want to flip these butterflies, select it, go to picture format, go to rotate and select flip horizontally. Then you can resize them and then you can rotate them using the circle at the top. Then again at the bottom. Once you've completed your graphics, we're going to insert the title. So go to insert, word art, click on the drop down and just select the first one. And in here, I'm just going to type to do, and then I'm just going to select it all, command or control A, go to the home tab. And then I'm simply going to change the font to Comic Sans, increase the font size using this icon here. Maybe take that down a bit. Oops. Then I'm just going to change this font color to brown. Now, if you want to match these colors, you can select the element you want to copy, go to the color change icon. So in this instance, it's this text icon here to change the font color. Go down to more colors, and then you can use your color wheel to match this color here. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have this eyedropper, you can simply select it, hover over this brown color here in our image, and it will select it here. Otherwise, you can move this cursor around and then you can also move this slider here so that you can get as close a colour as possible. So with that we're just going to put a border around it. So go to insert, shapes, I'm going to select this round edge square, click and drag. Then once it's selected, go to shape format. Then on the drop down of the outline, I'm going to select brown. Then again, I'm going to go to weight and select two and a quarter. Then I'm going to go down again and where it says sketched, I'm going to go down to this line here. Then go to shape fill and select no fill. And then just resize it around that text. There we go. And I want to select both of these, but if you see I'm trying to click on the text and it's not selecting. So select the outside border 
go to Shape Format and go to Selection Pane. And here you have a list of everything that you've entered into your document. So if you don't know which is the word, then you just use this eyedropper tool here or this eye tool here. And if you click, you can see which one you're referring to because sometimes these don't make sense. So picture with this number, you don't know which one it is. So you can see it's that butterfly at the bottom. So all you need to do is select both of these, hold down the command or control key and select both of them. Go back to shape format, go to align, make sure they're aligned to the center and then align again and make sure they're aligned to the middle. Once you're happy, go to group and just select group. And now that's all one element. And then for the boxes down here, don't worry about the alignment, I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. Just let's group this together. So select everything by holding down your command or control key. Go to picture format, select group. And again, we can move that round as one element. And if we just put the lines in and the squares, go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and select the round edge shape again. Click and drag, but hold down your shift key so it maintains that square. Go back up and change the outline to brown. And again, we'll change the weight to two and a quarter. And then once again, we'll go for the sketched edge. Let's select this one and then shape fill. We'll go for no fill. Deselect it, check you're happy. And then select this square, go to shape format. And then here, make sure it's checked because we want to maintain the square ratio. This is the height and width. I'm just going to select one centimeter and press enter. Then go to insert shapes, select the line tool, click and drag out a line, holding down the shift key to make sure it's perfectly horizontal. Let's just make sure it's about here. And then we're going to select the color again to brown, the weight once again to two and a quarter. Now let's just make sure that these two are lined up here. So if I deselect it, I'm happy with the alignment there. So select them both holding down the command or control key, go to group and select group, and then hold down the alt or option key, click and drag. And then you can click and drag out as many of these as you want. I'll just leave it with six and then select them all holding down the command or control key, or you can just go to the side here. You can reduce all the groups with the arrows, and then you can just select them all. If they're not selected, select the top one, hold down the shift key and select the bottom one and they'll all be selected. Then go to align and we're going to go down to distribute vertically because that will create a perfect space between each one and then align, align to left. We've actually aligned this top one as well. We've selected this one here, which we weren't meant to do. So let's just move them down. If you space out the top and the bottom one to exactly where you want it spaced, it will move all the ones in the middle. So if you only want to take up this space here, move the top one down, the bottom one up. Let's just select them all. So that group is the top one. So let's just hold down the shift key and select all of them. Align, distribute vertically, align to left, and then we can group them all together. And once again, we can move this, there we go. We can align it to the center. So go to align, align to center, and then we can realign everything here. I'm just gonna reduce the size of this a little bit. And these at the bottom, I'm just going to group them, picture format, group, and again, we can align those wherever we want. So I think everything needs shifting up a little bit. So select it. You can use your arrow keys, move everything up. So now we need to put the background colors in. You don't have to. So if you go to insert shapes, select the square again, and then click and drag out the square. And then with each shape that's inserted, it will come with a borderline color. So we're going to take that borderline color out and just select no outline. Shape fill, let's just choose a green. And then you need to go to send backwards and center back. Then we're gonna go back and go to insert again, go to shapes, and this time we're gonna select the rounded edge rectangle. Click and drag that out. And then we're gonna take the borderline off again, so no outline. Shape fill, I'm gonna select this off white color here. But before we deselect it, I'm just gonna make this look slightly more playful. I'm gonna to go to edit shape and edit points. And here you can see we've got all these black points around the outside. 
Now we can pull and push all of these to just change the shape of this rectangle. So I'm just going to click on this one and I'm just simply going to move it up to the top here. And then the bottom one here, I'm just going to move to make that angle a bit tighter and then deselect the whole thing. Just makes it a little bit more playful. So select that rectangle again, go to send backwards and keep clicking on send backwards until everything's exposed. Then we can just simply tailor this to our needs by stretching it out or reducing the size of it. Let's just reduce the size of everything here. And then we're going to select the top one, hold down the shift key, select the bottom one. So we've literally selected everything in our document now. Go to picture format, go to group and select group. So the whole of our design is now selected and is one element. So now if we right click, go down to save as picture and I'm going to save this to my desktop save it as a PNG file. You can also save it as a JPEG if you want to, it's completely up to you, and then click Save. So now if we just open a new document, if we go to Layout and change the orientation of the page to Landscape, then go to Insert Picture, Picture from File, select the to-do list and click Insert. Now this is now just like a photograph or a picture. So once it's inserted, you can't move it. So right click, Go to wrap text and select in front of text. And then we can simply duplicate this, hold down the alt or option key, click and drag. Now they're both selected, we can resize them so they can take up a good amount of space on the page, deselect and then move one of them over. Now you can take up as much room on this page as you want or as little. Remember, if you haven't got borderless printing, you'll need some space around the outside, otherwise it won't print. So to align these, simply go to align and you can go to align to middle. Then you can group them together and then align everything to the middle of your page and then also to the center as well. So that's all now perfectly lined up. So you can now say this is a PDF template or you can just print this out, cut it in half and use it each day. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.